What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I It's okay that we change But it feels kinda strange that you're not in my life You're the only one that saves me Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Gwenzy. Welcome back to my channel. That feels so weird to say. Um, hello everyone. It's been a while. It's been a little over a month now and it's probably not a big deal for all of you guys, but it is for me because I've been meaning to film this video for the longest time, but I just didn't have enough time to do so and I was just so unmotivated. And I don't know, I, I just didn't know how to start. I have been so caught up with ACADS and org work that I really didn't have time to do other things. And that makes me so sad because um, I've been neglecting myself, basically. And wow, that sounded so serious. Um, okay, I would eat my lunch around 5 p.m. already just because I didn't want to waste my time. And I just felt like I should be doing my homework instead of taking time to rest or like just do something good for myself. And that wasn't really good for my mental health, hence why I went through that burnout on face. Well, I feel like I'm slowly getting over it and that's a good thing and that, that's actually the main purpose of this video basically. So this video is just basically me trying to reconnect with my loved ones because I haven't been able to talk to them. and trying to get back into doing the things that I love doing and maybe like try to take care of myself more and if you're interested in seeing that then keep on watching last term I wasn't able to uh, like take care of my physical appearance I know that may seem so superficial for some of you guys but making myself look presentable is self-care to me and it boosts my confidence and it just makes me feel good in general and i wasn't able to do that last term so i figured why not take a day off and just like do my eyebrows like put on a face mask watch gay drama but you know it's the simple things that bring you joy sometimes that's so cliche but whatever <laughs> i'm scared that i might wax half of my eyebrows Let's hope not. Not on wood. Okay, I think this is too hot. Okay. Okay, okay, what do I do? <laughs> what if I do this wrong? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna start at the top. It's a couple of days later, and as you can probably see, <laughs> my eyebrows are so much thinner than before. I waxed my eyes like I I waxed my eyes. <laughs> I waxed my eyebrows like a couple of days ago and I actually burnt myself. Can you guys see that? Don't mind the background noise. I'm gonna ask my ate to turn on the fan because it's so hot. Okay. But my sushi. Oh. Excuse me. Okay, anyways, I'll be putting... I'll be... Wanna smell? Guys, my eyebrows look so bad. <laughs> like I can't go out without putting on eyebrow eye eyebrow products anymore. Just like before the bath. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. It's gonna go into my mouth. <laughs> Did you notice? I've been lost, saying no to the break of dawn Hoping that you'll show a little warmth But you know I feel the coldest When I'm wrapped around your finger Did you notice that you put me through the wrinkle When you said that you need the solace That I can't offer you I found the light in all this I also decided that it was about time to get back into reading because um, before I started college, I actually bought a lot of books thinking that I wanted to read one book per week and that was like a good goal. It was very attainable, I think. But when I started college, <laughs> I didn't realize college would take 
so much of my time that I didn't have time to do any of the things that I wanted to do basically because college is hard that's what I'm trying to say college is hard so yeah my books have been collecting dust on my bookshelf and I decided that it's about time to get back into reading and in order for me to do that I have to set aside time and I came up with a goal that I'm going to read at least one chapter per day and I'm not gonna limit myself to reading just one chapter a day. I did that for almost a month and it worked and I that helped me to slowly get back into reading again and I've been reading a lot of Murakami's books. I love the way he writes. I love the way he writes. I cannot stress enough how unique and talented he is. I highly recommend you guys check out his books and I've also read one book. I forgot who the author is, but it's but the title of the book is allegedly guys, I could not let go of that book. When I picked it up, I picked up the book, I started reading it and I just couldn't let it go. I wanted to finish the book in one sitting. It was that good. Um, I'll insert the picture here or like the name of the author here. I also went ahead and took my dogs out for a walk, which I haven't done in a while as well. <laughs> Mainly because I don't like texting, I don't like messaging people via like messenger or whatever. I like talking to them face to face. But I'm very lucky. I have very supportive friends and who are very open and understanding even if I go Mia for a couple of weeks or a couple of days. They still reply to me, they still love me. I just want to say thank you to my friends. Today is going to be a fun video because we're going to the 30th with my best friend, Aryan. We actually finished getting ready here to office and we're gonna go to 30th and we're gonna eat sa... Barcino. Barcino. Yan, up the check. <laughs> Hello everyone, so we're at Versino, the 30th right now. There's no one here, thankfully. So we just ordered and we're just waiting for our orders now and we're just taking some pictures. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a drive. You know what it is. Yeah. Woodstock free vibes on me.
this dress now ever since the new one goes. She's saying new one. I'm sorry, no, no, no. Water lang, water. <laughs> okay, hello everyone. So I'm this angle is so bad, but I'm sorry people are staring at me because this car is not tinted. But hi everyone, I'm on the way to BGC to see Jamie because I haven't seen her in more than a year. And that makes me sad so I'm so excited to see her we're just gonna grab some coffee and walk around BGC and hopefully I can get the book that I reserved and fully booked SM Aura because I really want to read that book and it's sold out in other fully booked branches hopefully I get the chance to pick it up today because I really really want to read that book it's by Haruki Murakami it's Norwegian Wood I'm currently reading one of his books actually um, Kafka on the shore Although I don't know if I would recommend it because it's a mind bender, kind of a mind bender. And it's not the easiest to read, but it's definitely not that hard to read either. I don't know how to explain it, but I just love the way he writes. Like, his writing. Oh, bitch, excuse me. Anyways, as I was saying, his writing is so vivid. And the way he describes. Um, feelings, emotions, his characters, it's, it, I don't know how to explain it. Basically, like, he has a very distinct and kind of weird way of describing things. And for some reason, I really like it because it makes it so different. It makes you, it makes you think. I guess the way he describes things is sort of like in a metaphorical way. And for some reason, I like it. It's not straight to the point, but it leaves your mind to imagine or to like think about what he meant by that you know i like those types of books anyways i'm geeking out and yeah i just want to update you guys and i'll see you when i get to bgc i'm gonna be arriving there a lot earlier than jamie because kiki sabay lang sa ko because he's going to silang later anyways i'll see you when i get to bgc Thank you! Like, they were like, Oh, yate, ganda mo. <laughs> and, and then 
I was like, what the fuck? Okay. Whatever. Well, welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> hot colors everywhere. It's so hot, but Genzi's hotter. <laughs> Damn. Come on, guys. Hit her up. Oh, look. Damn. That's like tissue for It's ice. <laughs> no, it's shaking. Eh? Oh. Ay, <laughs> right, anyways, amoy na kaming arrow. So. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, let's go to ano. Where? Book. Huh? Holy book. I'm gonna get my book. Check on it. Hey, we're gonna get her book because she's a bookworm or whatever. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys like today's video. I know it's a bit different from the content that I usually post. Don't worry, I'll be more consistent with YouTube. That's one of my 2021 goals. Um, I actually have a lot of videos planned out already. I might film a lookbook soon, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more from me. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I should have told you that I loved you every night. Oh, that's on my mind.